Look who's back at it. Causing all that static. Yes, it's the old fanatic. How's everyone doing? Rainy February night. End of February. Eh, it could be snow. Uh, you know, whatever. March right around the corner. Um, someone, uh, again, comment down below. But someone face-to-face -face said, Old Fanatic. That's not it. It's O-L-E. Old Fanatic. Like, the old number one. You guys got that now. It's not old, even though I am, you know, no spring chicken. But the old fanatic's going to try to give you a couple laughs, maybe teach you something. Hopefully you don't. I mean, that's up to you, folks. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I haven't, haven't cried since uh, I went to the movies as a kid and I saw Bambi's mother die, but... That's another story for another time. Okay, a couple things came to my attention. Me and a co-worker were talking. You know, we all see each other every day, you know, have a couple laughs. He said to me, and I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but you probably can. Everybody's got them. When you're working somewhere and either a co-worker a student, if you're a teacher or faculty member of a school or, you know, daycare, whatever, and you, someone is not there and you think they're absent, that's a problem. And you're like, oof, I feel like you hit the lottery. Then the person comes in, man... It's like, <laughs> this guy's like, that breaks your heart. I mean, I started off on a high, and the first thing I did when I walked in, I turned out to come out the main office door, and I saw this this individual. I mean, that that's a high to a crashing low. Don't worry. You get through it. Shout out to Big Jonathan. I mean, we had a lot, We you know... Got a lot of laughs going on. I was working the the St. Mary's um, playoff game, first round or second round, whatever it is. Um, and uh, of course, the guy in charge puts me on the visitors by the visitors bleachers. So I'm there. Yeah, hey, hey, good luck. You know, personally, I really don't care who wins. I mean. I guess it would be better if St. Mary's won, but do I really care? No. So, I mean, I, I'm on the front lines there because I'm against it with, right in front of all their fans and their cheerleaders and the whole nine yards. It's, you know, it's a it's a shit show. So, they, you know, the game's back and forth, back and forth. And then St. Mary's start pulling the head. Okay. And I hear grumblings, oh, the referees, that's the same as the usual. But then I hear, oh, my goodness, uh, is this guy connected? And I'm meaning St. Mary's coach. And <laughs> who knows, maybe he is, maybe he ain't. But, you know, he is Italian. I mean, take it for what it's worth. But he goes, was this guy connected and threatened the referees? He goes, I know people, I'm connected too. And I mean, that gym was packed, playoffs, warm weather, the heat was still on, you know, the heat's either on or off, so you can't shut it off. You know, it has to be on. So I'm sweating. And when that guy said, I'm connected too, then I was really sweating bullets. Your old, the old fanatic was in, in some hot water. Whew. I didn't know what to do. And then this big bazoomba didn't want to go in the bleachers. Big monster, big guy. And uh, the in charge of the gym, the AD come running over. He's about my size, or maybe even shorter than me. 
sir, you gotta get in the bleachers. And I'm like, he's like, oh, really? And the monster looking down on him. And he's just like, yeah, he should have told you, meaning me. And he's like, well, he ain't doing nothing. Everybody's got to go in the bleachers except the cheerleaders. Okay, okay, okay. He's like, really? And I mean, this guy's a monster. He's literally, he's looking down at us. And I'm like, things go down. The only thing I'm going to be doing is helping you up off the floor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not enough of this for that, for me to get involved. I mean, you attack me, that's different. You attack me, it's going to be on. It's going to be on. Whew. It's going to be. It's going to be on like you wouldn't believe, but I'm just there to keep the peace, so I'm trying, and he's like, okay, so he went up in the bleachers. Sam Harris won the game. They grumbled and said the referees, but then the referees came walking by. <whistles> Nothing again. So no, sta you know, no little little static, but just smoke, no fire. Um, all right, circle back to the kids. I mean, there's a kid, man. He he's always around. He's out. He goes to the bathroom every period. I guess I know the teachers don't want him in there. I mean, I don't blame him. I I bet his parents don't even want him because never absent. I mean, I mean maybe that's why you know I'm not. You know, CEO or whatever of a company because every chance I got, I stayed home. Oof. I mean, even senior year, I was up, I was up against it. They called me into the office and said, "Okay, okay, we see what you're doing here. You're not, you're graduating. Okay, you're graduating no matter what. You could stay home from now." Till the end of June, and you're graduating, you're not staying in my school. Why is that? Well, we know, you know, your girlfriend's going to be here, and your band, and blah, blah, blah. Long story short, bye-bye. I went bye-bye. I don't know if I was absent 25 times. 20, you're supposed to be 21. I think I was absent like 25 times, unexcused. Um... Me or something like that, 24, 25, but over the limit, definitely over the limit. And I also was absent with mono. So, I mean, I was probably absent 30 days, but 30, 31 days, whatever. But I graduated. You know, looking back, I regret it. I should have been, again, I should have, but that's water under the bridge. But I see it, man. I, 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 these, some of these kids just don't get it. They just don't have a clue. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, hopefully they find something. I mean, but the way they're acting now, the way I, you know, interact with my daughters are in their early to mid twenties. I'm friendly with people in their late twenties and thirties. I don't know, man. I don't think they're going to take these, uh, uh, Fifteen, sixteen dollar an hour job. So, what are they gonna? How are they gonna live? I mean, unless mommy and daddy take care of them. I mean, I don't know. We got a couple of where we got a couple of guys that are. I don't know. You know, we got a guy Squidward. You know, nickname of course. You gotta keep your eyes on him. He's, you know, and those are the worst kids because you know they say hi and you know they act all. They're the ones you gotta watch them. You gotta watch them. You can't give them. You give them an inch, they'll take a mile. And there's the other kids you can just tell right away. You know, again, I've been around. I can tell right away. And I was, like I said, I wasn't bad, bad, but I did my share of uh, mischief, and cutting up and picking on and all that. So I know I could tell. Right, and trying to get out of I know. So. We got our hands full. And I, to tell you the truth, from the top down, the seniors, it goes it, it goes from the seniors, seniors at the bottom, because they're, you know, they're starting to get old. There's a couple of problems. But then <whistles> freshmen, top. I don't know. God bless them teachers. I mean, 
you got to be tough, but you you know, you got to toe the line. I mean, they won't want me to be the dean of discipline. Because they'll go, hey, Rob, how are you, you know, friendly and, you know, jovial. That ain't gonna, how it's going to be. Because I don't care if you don't like me. Because I've been the bad guy. But they won't give it to me, so. I mean, I'm trying to get out of it anyway. I'm, I'm tired of it. I want to, you know, do something else or hit the lottery or whatever. Ride, ride off into the sunset. All right. Um, hit... One out of one out of two in those picks. I mean, you just can't get that second one for the little parlay. I hit one over the weekend, um, a hockey one, and then Sunday I lost a half a point or a point on the college. So you know, men's and men's. Um, you want to know something? Put it down. You know, again, subscribe. Give me the thumbs up, like the channel, you know, get to spread the word. Do me a, do me a solid and spread the word. I mean, th free therapy with the fanatic, with the old fanatic. Um, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you about a couple movies, a movie and a limited series, like six episodes, they're like 45, 50 minutes, so whatever. The, the series was called, and they're both on Netflix. I didn't know the one was on Netflix. It just came up on a stick. Um, the other, the movie. But Dear Child is a weird movie. This is a weird series. This was good, though. The drama, you don't know what. You, I mean, to be honest with you, I started not liking the kid. And then you realize, oh, you know, she's been through a lot. And, you know, because she was like, you thought she was like in, evil. But then again, she was influenced Watch the movie. I'm telling. I don't want to give you everything away, but it was a good series. I mean, it, it went flying by. I'm like, oh my god, it's over. Me and uh, me and the mean misses. You know, me and misses get it together every once in a while. We find something because we like different things. I'll be honest, but you gotta can't like the same things. But we got a lot of give and take. But this one just caught her interest, and then she stayed down here. And watched it on the big on the big TV, and it, we enjoyed it. We liked it, and like I said, we will fly by. I don't, it's I think it's from another country, so I don't think there's anybody you would know in it. But they were good. They put they were good actors. They were good actresses, whatever actors, actresses, whatever you want to call them. It was a it was entertaining. It was on and it's on Netflix. So if you want to check that out, Dear Child. You know, a little bit horror, suspense. I mean, not hard Suspense, the drama. Um, twists and all kinds of stuff. It's worth watching. And then I was flipping through and I was watching the YouTube videos. And I said, ah, you know what? I can't keep doing this forever. Let me see if I can get it and find something. I couldn't find a Wonka. So I picked Society of the Snow. And it's based on the true story about a plane crash down in South America. And this one, it wasn't like that movie Alive, I believe it was called, where they really were killing the people and it was gross, gross that they were cooking them and eating them to survive. I mean, let's, let's pause. Would you be able to do that? I don't know, man. I don't know if I was could ever be that hungry. I mean, you don't know until you're in that position, but that's a tough, tough sell. I mean, if I was out, like the other movie, The People the uh, Open Water, that was kind of, you know, based on a true movie. They're out there, they drank their own urine. I mean, you drink the seawater, you're going to die. So, I mean, I'm sure, it, you know, obviously it don't taste good, but if you're going to nothing else and you're gonna you're gonna hope you'll keep you survive live for a couple more days or whatever to try to get rescued i i could see maybe doing that because you know let it you know you don't just rip you know just don't go to the bathroom and then just drink it let it you know cool off it's warm and then you know i mean i'm sure it would be hard to drink but that i could maybe see doing 
The other shit, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I picked berries and bugs. I mean, I know they were out in the cold, but anywhere else, I'm gonna eat bugs, leaves, whatever. I'm, you know, that would be the that would be the last last resort. And I'd probably be dying by then. Probably wouldn't even be able to do it. But I mean, they did it. Again, based on true story, and like twelve or thirteen of them got out of there. So, and it was good, man. It had me, you know, they were joking around. Oh, you know, of course they were sad people died. But they were, then they started joking around like, oh, we're going to be rescued. And they they followed the captain. I mean, the team, the teams, that's different. When you're in a rugby, it was a rugby team. The team, yeah, he's the captain of the team. This is real life. They followed him. They didn't want to leave the plane. I think they, after the second day, they should have just couple of them, and then that's what happened, but they stayed there, they stayed there, they got more snow at, watch the movie, it's, again, based on a true story, it's some, it's not as, like the other movies, like a live, where you see the shit, really, you see a little, you know, it's a little bit disturbing or alarming, but it was a good movie, I, I enjoy it, I'm gonna give that one an eight, and I, and I'm kind of tough, I'm tough on everybody. You know, have you been around this channel? You know me. I got, you know, like I said, I am what I am. I'm, you know, I'm me I'm more mellow. If you really know me, know me from whenever, from back in the days, 25, 30 years. I'm different. I mean, I'm still me, but I'm not like high strong like that. And I'm more mellow, age, mellow, yeah. And yeah. You, you really, it's, there's a fire inside, but you look, you, you, you look dumb when you do that shit. I mean, I see people doing it and I, I can't believe I was like that. I mean, and sometimes it's funny. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to have enough. Why should I lie? I'm going to tell you, you know, I'm straight. I'm straight, straight shooting with you people here. So that's another movie that I enjoy. I enjoyed that one. People, someone down in the comments wants to know about docking. I went back through the files, didn't talk about them. That's coming up Thursday. So if you would like docking, get ready because I'm going to break them down for you. From start, reunion, and then without, just with Don. You're going to enjoy that one if you like docking. I'm going to really hit you hard with that one. Um, I'm going to give you, you know, I'm going to give you the Leprechaun. That's coming soon. March, St. Patty's Day. Oh, the green beer. And it's on Sunday. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Everybody's Irish on that day. Whatever. I'm Irish. Couldn't care less. It's not a day off from work. Don't care. Just another day. It's another day, folks. Buy that stupid stuff in the store. Save your money. Save your money for a rainy day. I mean, do what you want. At least your life. Um, but Leprechaun's coming up. Docking. A couple more videos. Video games. Um... Yeah, I might hit you with the video games and Doc, and I don't know yet. And then next Tuesday, to move another couple movies. The sports is kind of slow. I mean, I don't know. I'll give you, I don't know what time it is. I'll give you a quick one. Um, take the New Orleans, New Orleans Pelicans against the Knicks. And I can't believe I'm going to say this. But take Detroit plus the 10.5, 10.5 against the Bulls. Let's see how those two do. Um, can you give you a... Remember this, the, the sh TV show WKRP in Cincinnati? That funny show. I'm going to give you a quote from the program director of WKRP. As God is my witness... I always thought turkeys could fly. And now from the fanatic, please always remember and never forget.
opinions, except for mine, are like, till the next time, the fanatic, putting on the rain gear, rolling on out of here. <laughs>